Hi, today we will discuss another important pulse and oil seed crop. You know, the country is in need of the pulses and oil seeds. Oil is imported and the pulses are also imported. So, there is a need to increase the production and productivity. Among the pulses, soybean is one of the important pulse crop cultivated across the country. Soybean also suffers from both nationally significant pests and also regionally significant pests. Coming to insect pests of national importance, we have stem fly, tobacco caterpillar, semi looper, girdle beetle, pod borer to some extent white fly. Similarly, the pests of regional importance which are sporadic, blue beetle particularly in western MP, leaf miner in Maharashtra and Karnataka, grey weevil again in Delhi and Punjab area, Bihar airy caterpillar in Uttarakhand and western MP, leaf folder again in Karnataka, Maharashtra and all along the MP, pink pod borer in North Karnataka, leaf defoliator in central and western MP. We will try to understand in detail about the pests of national significance. Among them, as I said, the major important pest is stem fly, which occurs in almost all the soybean growing areas. It is a seedling pest in simple, which is technically referred as Melanogramiza sozae, belonging to family Agromyzidae order Diptera. The adult fly prefers almost 10 day old seedling for egg laying and also it prefers to lay eggs on the first pair of leaves of the seedlings. Then the maggot is the damaging stage, it mines into the leaves and the petiole and then gets entry into the stem, causes extensive tunneling which results in withering and drooping and the total death of the plant. You know total seedling mortality takes place in the field situation. In this photograph, if you see the mining of the maggot on the leaf, which later gets entry into the stem, the maggot causes uh, severe damage and then uh, pupation also takes place in the stem itself. Adult emerges inside the stem and we see a small hole, the adult emergence hole. Under field situation, a healthy plant uh, looks like this, wherein uh, the stem fly infected uh, plant uh, looks like this and the total uh, death of the plant is normally seen. Next important pest is tobacco caterpillar, Spodoptera litura, which is a uh, polyphagous uh, pest. Larvae is the damaging stage, it lays uh, eggs in masses on the under surface of the leaf and immediately after hatching the larvae unitedly scrape the leaf uh, chlorophyll content from the leaf and then in the later stage we find a total uh, defoliation in case of uh, soybean. Afterwards you also see the damage to the pods also. Here also we can see the damage done to the pods by the caterpillar at the later stages. Next in the order is soybean pod borer, Helicover parmigera, which is again a polyphagous pest on many of the commercially grown crops. The larvae is the damaging stage. It usually prefers to feed on the tender shoots as well as uh, the developing uh, pods also. And um, once the podding stage is there, it prefers to feed on the pods and then uh, during the 15 days larval period it can consume 20 to 25 pods resulting in a significant loss to the soybean crop. Next in the series is BR hairy caterpillar Spilosoma obliqua which is also again a polyphagous uh, pest. The larvae is the damaging stage, it lays eggs in groups on the under surface of the leaf immediately after hatching. The scraping of the leaf is seen, wherein we can identify such scraped leaves even from a distance. 
later on when the larvae reaches the second and third instar, they migrate and cause severe defoliation. Next in the series is a semi looper, Thysanoplusia varichalsia, which is again uh, a sporadic pest on uh, soya bean. Caterpillar is the damaging stage, in the early stage it makes holes on the leaf, later on it skeletonizes the whole plant and then uh, defoliation is normally seen on soya bean crop. Again, in particularly in uh, Madhya Pradesh, we have this uh, serious pest soybean stem borer Dectus uh, texanus texanus belonging to Coleoptera and uh, the grub is the damaging stage. On an average 10 to 15 percent uh, yield loss is seen due to the damage of uh, this particular insect. It bores into the leaf petiole and then enters the stem. So, because of this uh, the death of the plant also takes place. Then we have a leaf eating uh, coleopterous insect as we will particularly in the early stage its damage uh, is seen from the borders. The young seedlings particularly of 15 to 20 days old will be totally defoliated and we lose lot of uh, plants and the field looks lot of uh, gappy appearance. Coming to the integrated pest management of these soybean pests, you know mechanical practices includes collection and destruction of the gird beetle, infested parts and also we know polyphagous pests they lay eggs in masses and then early stage larvae feed gregariously by in a, in a staying in one place such egg masses and larvae can be collected and destroyed. Then erection of a bird purchase to the tune of 10 to 12 per hectare is also one of the recommendation. Then installation of a pheromone traps for particularly for Spodoptera and Helicoverpa is also an IPM component. Use of castor as a trap crop particularly for tobacco caterpillar and dyncha for girdle beetle is also an IPM recommendation. Then among the biological control, conservation is one of the most important thing because soybean ecosystem includes a lot of predaceous insects starting from spiders to chrysoperla to tachinid fly, dragon flies, they all should be conserved by not spraying particularly the broad spectrum insecticides. Then there is a recommendation of release of an egg parasitoid, telonomus rumors to the tune of 50,000 per hectare particularly against Spodoptera litura. Then we have microbial insecticide sprays of Bacillus thuringiensis. Commercially the products are available with various trade names. It is also recommended against the defoliators and semi looper. Then whenever Spodoptera is a problem in the area recommendation of a Spodoptera NPV at the rate of 250 LE per hectare is also recommended. Lastly, the botanical spray of neem seed kernel extract 5 percent for the management of these defoliators and also sucking pests is one of the IPM component. Again, insecticides also become a chemical component in IPM. There are specific recommendations for a specific insecticides, you know defoliators, series of insecticides have been recommended, white fly also, thiamethoxam C treatment is most effective and then for stem fly also thiamethoxam C treatment is recommended. Kindly note this is grams per kg of seed, not kg per hectare, it is grams of thiamethoxam insecticide per kg of seed. Then for pod borer also there is a recommendation of insecticides, girdle beetle also trisophos is one of the most effective chemical. So all these components needs to be integrated effectively and there are recommendations of resistant or tolerant genotypes against a specific pest like stem fly, lot of varieties from Madhya Pradesh have been recommended. For tobacco caterpillar also some of the resistant genotypes have been recommended. Semi looper also a lot of uh, varieties have been suggested, girdle beetle also we have series of uh, resistant or tolerant varieties. All these can be incorporated for the effective IPM technology of uh, soybean pests.
we will move on to the next important crop of um, the country mustard which is an important oil seed crop mustard also suffers from uh, four to five major insects one is a painted bug bagrada hilaris which is a sucking pest both the nymphs and adults uh, suck the sap from the affecting the growth of the plant in addition to sucking they also excrete a sort of resinous material which spoils the pod and the seed also. Then one of the endemic pest mustard aphid life of his species you know wherever mustard is grown this particular aphid is known to occur. The nymphs as well as the adults they desap from all parts of the plant thereby affecting the vigor of the plant in particular and then um, affects the developing pods thereby shriveled seeds uh, are commonly seen in aphid infested uh, plants on the mustard. The yield significantly is reduced almost to the tune of one fourth or even to the tune of one fifth. Another most important uh, pest is uh, mustard sawfly athelia belonging to a hymenopterous uh, uh, order very exceptional pest because majority of the hymenopterous insects are the parasitoids wherein the grub of this sawfly is a very destructive pest on mustard. They bite holes into the leaves uh, particularly in the young seedlings and then the total death of the plant is normally seen particularly in case of uh, later stages it also feeds on the leaves affecting uh, the death of the older plants also even there will not be any bearing of the seed on the plant itself. Coming to the management aspects of the mustard insects, series of recommendations have been made. One of the most important recommendation is intercropping which is very effective in case of mustard. You know in North India intercropping chickpea with mustard is one of the commonly adopted technology and uh, lentil and mustard is another intercropping system which reduces majority of the insects in North India particularly on mustard. Later on early sowing of mustard crop escapes from the aphid incidence to a considerable extent. Then that early sowing on or before 20th October is most important. Then irrigation application particularly in the seedling stage can bring down the incidence of sawfly to a greater extent because larvae die due to the drowning effect. Even severe cold particularly during November and December month also reduces the incidence of sawfly to a greater extent. Then collection and destruction of the grubs of the sawfly which are very clearly visible is also one of the good mechanical measure. Then conservation of the parasitoid and the bacterium associated with these mustard insects is also one of the biological control strategy. Whenever we see the incidence of a painted bug, seed treatment is found to be most effective with imidacloprid 70 WS insecticide at the dosage of 5 grams per kg of seed gives an effective control up to 30 to 35 days. And for the mustard aphid economic threshold level has been worked out 50 aphids per plant whenever the population crosses systemic or insecticide application is the recommendation included in the IPM. And in the later stage of the crop growth spraying of any of the contact insecticides will also help in bringing down the population of sawfly. That means from uh, intercropping to seed treatment conservation will all form an important uh, components of uh, the IPM in case of uh, mustard. Thereby we can increase the productivity with the maximum net profit. Thank you.